read something to you, this quote, anyone who wants to thwart the establishment of a Palestinian state has to support the bolstering of Hamas and transferring money to Hamas. This is part of our strategy, to isolate the Palestinians in Gaza from the Palestinians in the West Bank. That was Prime Minister Netanyahu in 2019 supporting Hamas because he knows that as long as Hamas remains there, he can always argue that there is no partner for peace. During our lifetime, there have been two moments when peace could have happened. One was in the early 90s with the Oslo Accords, which were negotiated by Isaac Rabin and Yasser Arafat, and both of them were awarded a Nobel Peace Prize for that. Tragically, two years after those accords, a right-wing Israeli settler assassinated Iqsat Rabin, and after the end of that, the peace process came to an end. The second moment came not so long ago in 2016, when John Kerry, as Secretary of State, put forward a peace proposal. That proposal was accepted by the Palestinian Authority, and it was rejected by a one Netanyahu. So I think it's really important. I do believe, Gabriel, that there is an opportunity for peace. It's the only way that Israel will secure its long-term future. And I genuinely believe that what we should be saying to our politicians is that you've got to stop using language, which actually in the real world makes no sense. It sounds like Are you it's including your I'm including the Conservatives and actually the leader of the